welcome to the channel of Ecoholics. So in today's video, I will be discussing the concept of Phillips curve. But how does this video is different from other videos already available? So in this video, I will be discussing how to derive the mathematical equation for Phillips curve. So in many of the MCQ based papers, we get questions or we get numericals which are related to Phillips curve. And that is the point where students find themselves stuck. So by watching this video, you will get a clear cut idea of how to solve or how to get few numerical values using the questions of Phillips curve. So what is Phillips curve? Phillips curve is a diagrammatic representation which gives us the negative relationship between the unemployment rate and the rate of inflation. So in the short run, Phillips curve tells us that there is a negative relationship which tells us that whenever the unemployment is going to increase, the inflation is going to come down. So now if you are here, and this is let's say x percent inflation at y percent unemployment. Now if you will increase unemployment to let's say a then inflation is going to come down to b. As you can see when inflation when unemployment is increasing the inflation is coming down and that's a negative relationship in the short run because when unemployment increases there is less money in the hands of people who are unemployed. So because of this less demand which is coming down the prices will come down because now the demand will fall as compared to the supply. So this is the interpretation of Phillips curve. So it means it's only talking about inflation and unemployment. So let's see how do we get our mathematical results from this. All right. Now, because Phillips curve is telling you the relationship between prices, inflation and unemployment. So for inflation, the starting point is to talk about prices. So how are the prices set if we talk in very general? So let's say there is a company or there is a firm, let's say. The workers who are working there, they expect that tomorrow the prices will rise by 5%. So that is their expected prices. Now because of this reason, they will start demanding a hike of 5%, a raise of 5% in their wages. So because of this, producers will feel, okay, tomorrow the workers would come to us, they would be demanding 5%. So because they are giving wages to worker and they are getting money from the consumers by selling their product, they will increase the prices. So because whenever they are setting the prices, there is always a markup. Markup means that extra margin they are keeping. So this markup is represented here by mu. So when, whatever is their cost, they always keep a markup over that cost so, to set their prices. So this is expected prices over and above the expected prices. There is going to be a markup one plus mu and this function here represent the other factors which are affecting the price setting in the economy. So F U Z like U here represents unemployment because we have to deal with unemployment and inflation. Z represents other factors. So for example, it represents, let's say, unemployment benefits. If the government is giving higher amount of unemployment benefits, the people who, who gets a job, their minimum amount of salary that they would expect is going to be higher. So higher the unemployment benefits are going to be, higher minimum wages will be set in the economy and higher will be the prices. So Z is affecting in positive way. Whereas due to unemployment, as I have told, already told you, it's going to affect in negative way. So we are going to take a specific functional form for my F function. So I have taken this e raised to power minus alpha u plus z. There is a reason why I have taken it in exponential form. The reason is very simple because when I will be taking logs to solve this equation further, log of e is going to be cancel each other out and Taking log of such functional form is easy and of course you can get to your desired result in an easier way. So I have substituted the value of this function. Now to solve this further I have to take log. So taking log on both sides. 
log p equals to log p e since they are in multiplication so when I take log they will get added log 1 plus mu and whenever we take log like this when you have something in power the power comes in front and you are left with log e since log and e will cancel out each other I am left with just this term so I have written this only right so this is the equation now let's get to the next page uh, I am going to take this equation from here to here so what I have done is in the equation on previous page I am going to subtract log p minus 1 log p minus 1 means logarithm of prices of last year just one previous year from here also I will subtract and from the right hand side also I am going to subtract so after doing that this is my equation log p minus log p minus 1 log p e minus log p minus 1 the rest is same now how to solve for log p minus log p minus 1 so whenever we have subtraction in log when does it comes? When? If I have to combine them basically, I have to write them in the divide. So log p minus log p minus 1 is like this. So when the numbers are in divide and I open the log, they get subtracted. So I can write p upon p minus 1 in this form. As you can see, p minus 1, LCM p minus 1 plus p minus p minus 1. They cancel out and I'm left with just the same thing. So I have written this in the another form just have done a little algebraic manipulation so i have got this now what is this prices today minus prices yesterday divided by prices yesterday this is inflation the inflation rate so i have got one plus pi since pi is going to be a small number the inflation if inflation is small I can write log 1 plus pi equals to pi. So whenever you have this log 1 plus x and if x is sufficiently small number, I can write it equal to x only. That is the same thing. So I have used the, this property of log. So log p minus log p minus 1 will become pi. With the same working, I can write this thing as pi e, expected inflation. And log 1 plus mu, I'm also writing it as mu only because mu is a markup, it will also be small. So log 1 plus mu, which is a small number, is going to be equal to mu. So I have written log 1 plus mu as mu. Then z co, I have written with mu minus alpha u because they have positive effect, they have negative. So I have written them separately. So this is the equation of your Phillips curve finally which tells you that inflation today is a function of expected inflation, markup, other factors like unemployment benefits and the unemployment rate in the economy. So only when we will do little changes to expected inflation, we will have different forms of Phillips curve. So in original Phillips curve, the expected inflation is zero. So if I make expect expected inflation zero, I will get this as my answer. This will be my Phillips curve. But if I try to make it augmented Phillips curve, the modified, where we believe expected inflation is just equal to previous year inflation. So this is what I'm going to get in my equation of Phillips curve. So just by changing the value of pi e here, I can get my different forms of the Phillips curve over here. I hope this is now clear to all of you and this has become easier for you to solve questions of Phillips curve. Please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone for watching this.